All right, so continuing on. Now this will be how to go from level five gear to level nine. Again, I have not fought any bosses other than the beginning boss, Warden Garcia. This is my setup and yours should be similar to this to do to fight the level nine enemy. You have to be very tanky. If you are not, he will destroy you. You'll have no chance. So I did a mixture of the Eclipse gear and the Rhino gear. I get partials from both. You can see that's all level five, including my weapons. Uh, I brought four weapons up to level five level. This, of course, I found a negotiator staff. I can show you where to get one of those, which is from the first game. I, I really like that staff. I also, uh, Truman's Faith. And the other aid type authority is another hammer because we had bonuses from hammers, so I got two to choose from. But if you suggest, select this set that I have, you get two bonuses that work well. Um, number one is the hammer bonus. So if you look here, um, I got the partial set increases impact when wielding any hammer weapon, which I am. And I get the partial from this rhino set. If you look at the partial for this one, I get um, increased damage and impact of charged attacks. Well, any attack I'm doing is mostly a charged that's gonna do that. So I get those two bonuses. Plus I have very tanky gear. I'm already 417 defense um, compared to, um, this was my farming gear, 338. And 239 was my original one. So it's a big jump in defense, okay? So make sure you do that. I am also level, I did use extra, um, stuff to level so i am exo core power 40 320 straight across so whatever it is to get up there plants are these this one is the main med one you should be using and upgrading as much as you can i can only get mk2 for now this one stores them this one also gives more defense and stability when you're charge attacked i showed you where i got that this is another one i gained uh when health is low energy is increased Increases energy gain through successful attacks. And this is just to boost the core power so I could even use all those with this heavier set. And that is what we're going at. Now, I farmed for the Eclipse pieces. I farmed them all from here like I showed you guys in the, in the previous video. I just farmed the different pieces from here. And then I keep farming just these guys. These two and the three behind there. Because they're all level five. So then it easily lets you upgrade your gear to this. Now this area here, I said, like I said, is very dangerous. There are some implants in here and some special weapons and the rhino gear. So that would be the main purpose to go here. So you would go up here. I'll show you real quickly. Kill this guy. You would get his weapon if you knock his arm off, which is, I'm level five, he's three. So it's pretty, pretty easy. Here's a level four scarab. Do the same thing. I usually always go for heads first, just because you never know who's gonna drop a good implant. So I always go for the head armor, and then if they have an implant, I get it. But this is, was the scarab gear guy, if you wanted to farm scarab gear. Now here is where you get, this guy's wearing a special uh, cowboy hat. Only he has it. Um, so if you cut his head, you get it. Otherwise you get um, level four, processor but you could get level four weapon also if you um took his spear uh hand even though it's not armored now down here this door you have to open with the rig which is easy there's a good implant i forgot the implant it is but there's it's, it'll be right here so make sure to get that and go through here and open this door this opens to a back alley shortcut that goes around to where there's enemies behind here but it goes around to here and from here, you go up here, down here, and you open up this door. And this door opens up the full loop. This goes is the door that goes all the way back to the beginning med bay, right through there. See it? And then for whatever reason, if you know, if we gotta backtrack, oh the, you want these you want these doors open. And below this 
right down below me where these two green gar garbage cans are in front of me and to the right is a hidden doctor that has a health thing boost thing that you can always use if you bring him the piece of a drone so right here i already did it so i always have access to this he gives you an implant too or something but you can always use that there and the piece that he's looking for this is if you remember right here is, is the gate where these guys are level three guys we farmed a little bit but going back up here it's just you want to make sure to open all these shortcuts while we're doing this anyway right back here right here you can see the rhino guy so he's hiding behind that box i don't know if you can see it turn my rig lights on he's right here so that's where i got all my rhino gear and he is just simply right through here so once you have this unlocked he is right up past here but at least then oh and there's this these two here this guy here but go for this guy first because this guy's crazy axes he goes crazy with the axes so you want to get him out of the way first the other guy drags the axe so it's much easier this guy drops this the the secret um weapon so he drops let me get rid of this other guy if he comes out all right he doesn't so that guy, if you cut his arm, he drops this secret weapon, if you like it. Um, this one. Totem Wolf Tomahawk. Which is Frontier Riders, which goes with... Um, I didn't construct it, but... Uh, goes with that. This is the hat you get if you knock that other guy, the Wrangler hat. So, the Marshall hat. This guy has nothing... So you can get his you can get his weapon if you want really want it or farm some tech to upgrade your weapon. But if you're level five, these guys mean nothing. So it's it's good to do this run one time to if for nothing more to get implants for many of them. Like I said, always go for the head cuts the first time you kill these guys. These are level two that guy, so I usually kill him first. He's going to be the easiest. And obviously this guy is a three, so I'll go for him. And then the last guy kneeling there is a four. And this guy has a weapon you can get. Even though it's blue, if it, in my case, you could still get it. If, I'm, I'm just so powerful at five already. I'm, I'm just destroying these guys. But they were more challenging before I upgraded everything to five. So down here is where I got the pieces for Rhino. There's this guy. Watch out for this stupid guy. He's one of those guys that throws bricks. So he's got a weapon two on his arm. Those, those, an upgraded one of those two-handed bracers. If you, if you can get him without killing him, cut his arm. Um, this guy has a shield, a car door shield. Just break it with this weapon. And then just smash, smash him. You can get his weapon too. Um, I forget what it is. I think it's a single rig, but nothing special. Like right here. But this is the guy you would farm for rhino gear. He's hiding right behind this box, but he's crazy. He's got axes, headgear. You can get the full rhino set, which is, if you prefer that, instead of mixing and matching, you just farm this guy until you get all the pieces. Okay. There's another guy down. And also back here, you wanna go through and open this door. And this door opens the door exactly to the back alley where the med bay is again, right there to my left. So this opens all the doors, I think to the first area, about all of them. So you got many ways to get back here if you, you know, need to. So that guy has Rhino. Um, there's two more guys. I'm not even going to bother with him, but there's two more guys down there by the stairs that have Scarab armor. But that guy right in front of me that just started walking to the left, that Scarab, no, this guy here, right in the middle of those two guys, right walking now, that guy has Rhino. So you can get farm him and the guy behind me for Rhino. There's some other implants, but other than that, don't really need anything else. Just get whatever heavy gear you prefer to use. 
And it's not even a gear set you're going to have to use for the rest of the game. It's just for this part. To go from 5 to 9, you need to be really tanky. So that's it. You do what I did. Farm your thing. You can use the set I did, which is this one. Get everything to level 5, a couple of your weapons. And now we're ready to go to level 9. For that, we got to backtrack a little bit. Now, that doctor, he's looking for a piece of a crashed drone. You will find it right here. This drone here, I took it already, but it, it'll be there. You can take it, and if you give it to that doctor that was underneath that little building, he gives you an implant and access to that health thing. So that's his little secret mission done. Um, but you have to go back through here, and then we're just going to go up here. Now we're going to go kind of the way the game wants us to go, <laughs> which is through here, back to um, the top way, to Jericho Seaside Court, which is the safest way. No enemies mess with you, no poison, any of that nonsense. Go right in. Now in here, there's a couple of resellers you can talk to. They don't really have too much. One has an upgrade, uh, something for the drone if you want. Um, there, and there's an implant for drone damage. You can use that as well um, for this part too. If you have a lot of uh, cells uh, to use, which you should. If you farmed a lot, you should have like four or five hundred. And then this guy, Brother Eli, you have to talk to him. Go in there and talk to him. And so you can open the door to go where we need to go. And then you go here. And now, in order to make this uh, part farmable... We need to open up some doors or else you're going to be, you know, you, you may get the parts, but getting back to the, the thing, you need a path, which I haven't sh seen people show. A good path to get down to the level 9 enemy and get back up to the med bay so you can store any scrap. Because you're going to be getting a lot of scrap. And you need a way up and down, fast as, fast as hell. So I'm going to show you the doors you need to open to get that done mine is not open yet because i want to show you it's basically one door you need to get find it and open it and it's down in the sewers so from here switch to your truman spear and just follow this down here there's going to be these little those little spider drone bug things the spear poke just the right bumper kills them easily or else if they run into you they 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 stun you and you you know you can't use your weapon but you can see i can just, you can pick them off easily with the spear they got no chance and then there's this guy he's another one no chance i got stunned by the bot he can drop that but you don't even really have to kill him. You could actually run just right by him. Because we're not even in the area yet. Now we're going to where the base is. So right down here. I open this door, but you don't. You can or you can't. It's not necessary. But this is the med bay. Right across these pipes. You need to be able to get to this. Get down to the spot. And in order to do that, we need this door open. So I'm going to show you how to open that door. And then I will show you the path. So just bank any uh, scrap you have for now. So we got to get to the very bottom of this base. So from the med bay. Oh yeah, and the first time you try to access this med bay, it's going to be closed and look like it's locked. And you have to talk to little Johnny. Just talk to him. But you're going to go this way from there. That guy's going to pop up, but... Again, we don't we don't need anything he has. So a lot of this you're gonna see me just run through. That's a revenge enemy. I may take him out. Revenge enemies give you those that don't know. I hate when it locks on the stump. I don't want to, but revenge enemies give you every part they have plus a bunch of stuff. So I usually kill revenge enemies. This guy is normally really tough. 
but you can see he's no match for us at level five. And there you go. That's the only enemy I will stop for. But you're gonna go through here now, to this through this pipe, talk to this guy, give him one scrap just for some information, and we're gonna go down here. Now, from here, we need to go across the way. We can go back through there, but that's a waste of time. So, just jump through here, take a little bit of damage. That wasn't supposed to happen, but, you know, it's what it is when... That guy will kill you. He's, he's, he, I had to take him down because he's just a pain in the ass. But anyway, continue down here. You open this door and this opens that door up. And if you go up here, this is that door I said, you would open it to go back out to the beginning. So that's that, the first door you open. But what we're looking to do is open this door that's through that pipe. But we have to keep going a different way. We don't need to worry about him. Shouldn't, anyway, we need to go up here. Don't, you can mess with that guy, but again, those guys with the, that weapon are pretty deadly, so just be careful if you're gonna play around with them. These guys too, um, the area we would be going to where the level nine stuff is, is right here. Right down here is where it is, but we need to open, which is through here, but we need to open this thing here. Because if you go through here, we need that door right there open. It is closed. Since it's closed, we go through here. We could have went through the mouse one to get here, actually, and skip all that. So that's probably a better way. As soon as you open this, go to the pipe. Go through the pipe. Go left. Here's where you get the negotiator staff, or one of the places. These two enemies down here both have it. So if you like that weapon like me and you wanted it back for this game, you just gotta knock the right arm off one of these people. And you would get it, my guy's so powerful, it's, it's hard to not just, all right. And from here, we go up. Here's one more chance to get it off her arm. You could always come back until you, you know, get it. It's no big deal. But right there, I would, I'd get it right there. You get a negotiator staff. Now. From up here, we need to go across this way. There's a crazy guy, you gotta break any of those things. This guy right here, but we need to get his stupid bot or else the stupid bot is gonna mess with us. Always hit those turns as fast as you can. This guy too is an asshole, so if you can, just kill him quick. Shouldn't be too problem at level five, like I said. All right, so now through here, we just need to go down. So now we're gonna go down the stairs, down the stairs here, down the stairs here, and we're gonna go outside, which is here. Now watch out for those, just jump, jump around. We're looking for that entrance right across the way with these three green arrows and the little uh, mouse drink machine. Go through here. Out for this guy. He actually followed us in here. And so did the other guy. Awesome. I'll take them all down. All right. I just need to know where we came in from. All right, so when we go in from there, freaking jerks, dude. You can turn your lights on on your rig which is down on the D-pad. You come out this side. From here, we go right. I'm gonna start just killing these guys because they're, they're following me into these places and some of them are gonna kill me. You're gonna go right through here. It should be maybe right where this blue light is. Yep. So you're gonna go right from there to here and you're gonna go up this 
thing right here. Kablam, here is the door. That's the hardest part to do. Now, we have the med bay open. Now watch how easy it is to get to the level nine area to farm now. It's gonna take us two seconds. Well, not two seconds, but, all right. So from here, now that this door's open, you go through the door, you go down, okay? You go around and through this exit with the railing. From here, you open this door here. This is where that pipe was closed, but now it's open. From here though, we continue down the pipe. Now that that door is open, we make a right. Now we're you're gonna jump this the best you can. You're gonna get a little bit of the poison on you. But now you're gonna see, boom, look where we are. Now you jumped across there. We're right where we need to be. So now, the, right on the other side of here is the level nine enemy. And you can see how easy now it'll be to get back. We can turn around, go out, go that same way back. It takes a minute. So you have a clear, easy way back to the med bay and to here to keep farming this thing. But just going in and out of that doorway that we just entered will have them respawn. But if you gain up a lot of tech, you're gonna wanna store it because there is a, part of this, this is not a guarantee. I mean, beating the enemy soon becomes easy once you get some of the parts, but there's a jump you're not supposed to do that you can never guarantee you're going to hit. Uh, switch to your hammer. And that is this jump here. So normally you need this to continue up to that boss, but we're gonna make a jump from here straight up there. But a lot of times you can fall. So if you fall, you fall. I mean, there's just nothing you can do, but see? But the good part is it's gonna start us right in the same area, but you can make the jump. Like you can switch to a lighter armor and sometimes that makes the, the jump easier. But that's why I say you want to way back to where your med bay is because after you kill this, this enemy three or four times, there's like three enemies up there. Kill them three or four times, you're going to have like 12,000 tech or more. You'll want to go back to the med bay and bank that because you don't want to risk coming back in here, having them respawn, and then, you know, you fall. So go ahead then. And running, I've tried that. It doesn't really matter. It's all a matter of... It's usually gain, just standing on this little pile right here. There we go. And then jumping. Do not open this chest. Just jump on it. And again, you're jumping up to an area you, you don't want. Now, the first time you see this guy, he's not going to be looking like that. He's going to look like a normal person. He's going to be holding a staff and have armor, this Pro, Proceus armor. I've come here once to just to test attacking him with a lower level, and it was just, just you're not going to be able to do it. Um, to see if I could do it non-level 5 gear and I was much lower level than I was not level 40 so you want to just bait this guy out so he comes to you you don't want him involved in the fight trust me um, he's gonna do that and then I'd usually just smash him with a charge attack and if your level is up usually high enough he usually dies from the first shot okay now this is the guy you want to fight now some say take his leg first time you fight him it's easier so we can try that um, but he is not easy Got him. Got him. Look at that. First time. First try. Look at that. I got Polaris leg gear. And I got a schematic of, uh, or, or implant of something. 2,000 scrap for one kill. So I, now you'll see, since he was level 9, I'm going to use this to upgrade or to heal. 
I, I'm going to be able to upgrade some stuff. I'm going to grab this real quickly. Here is a level 8 enemy. So I'm going to let my stuff charge. He is going to be equally as hard. And there is a level 7 enemy back there too. So I'm letting my... I'm running around just because I want my stuff to charge. But that is very hard what I just did. If he would have swung and hit me that one time, I would have died. Um, luckily, he missed. So again, it has to be a little... You can fall off the ledge there and die too. So it's a lot of... So I want to hit him the first time I kill this guy. I'm going to go again for his arm because he has something. I think that's the first time you can actually get... What I like to do is try to get him to shoot and then go in. Dump his arm. And light and beam. Drone weapon. So that was a drone weapon that you get. And galvanized, he's got galvanized. So I'm, I'm, you're making out like a bandit now at level five. So I just got, there we go. I just got that for the drone. For, which, uh, focus beam electricity, dealing damage and stunning enemies. Like that's like <laughs> one of the best things you can get. That's pretty awesome. There is something back here. Maybe that was it. There was something back there with this guy. He has two sets of armor, purple, which you can see there, and regular yellow. You want the purple, and you want to knock his arm off, the right arm, when it has the purple. So, because his right arm doesn't have it, you'd get a different weapon than you would normally get. I'll try to do it here. This guy you can backstab, so and you want to, because he's re he's more dangerous than the guy I just, got, I just killed. So, um... I'll show you the weapon. Oh, actually, I'll get the leg. I'll get the leg. Because the leg's purple. Backstab. Boom. So now I should get Crystallis. Um, so you got leg gear for Crystallis. I wish you'd come through here, sir. I'd smash your face. So. Advanced tech. 5,000 scrap. That must have been... So this is what I'm saying. Um, I already just got 3,000 for getting him once. Sometimes when you kill this guy, the stuff he drops falls in the wall. But that's it. So now you would go back down. I'll show you the way back. You just, you don't even have to jump. You can do a little hop. But this is what I'm talking about now. I can go out and come back in and all of, all three of them respawn. And you can farm them. And this is how you get everything to level 9. But now you have the way open back. So say you wanted to take this tech back and upgrade. You know, you can't do that from down here. And it's a big complicated, you know, this is a, the maze. We, I just made it that much easier to go back. So now you can go back, upgrade some pieces, come back, make the fight easier. I suggest upgrading your weapon first. Um, but your weapon is going to get so strong that even that guy is not going to be able to take one or two hits, the level 9 guy. So you want to leave some weapons a little lower so you can get cuts. That's, the, that's, the, that's going to be your only problem. But this is how you jump from 5 to 9. And get other armor. Like, I can get the Crystallis set, the Pro, Procesis, whatever the hell set from that, that guy, that mutated guy. But now, from there, you come out. Watch how easy this is, because we open the way. You come out from here, right? You can kill this guy or not. And you're going to make a right, right here. Jump across this nonsense. You're going to get a little bit. And there's the pipe. You're going to run right through the pipe. Right, keep continuing. This is where that door we just opened. Right through here into this area. And boom. Here is the thing that takes you right to the med bay. Because we opened this door. It doesn't get any easier than that. Now we can bank your tech and everything. Upgrade stuff we wanted. Um, and then uh, 
jump right back down there and go right back to the fight. And as, as you can see, so if I want to upgrade, look at this. It I already have MK9 um, stuff. So this is how you upgrade your stuff, okay? I only have the legs and that to do, but basically you're just going to back convert down, upgrade your stuff up like this. So say I wanted to do the arm, I'll just do an example. You see it says convert. You would take one of these MK9 pieces. Now we'd make it to an MK7, and then from a seven, we'd make it to a six. And then, kabang, now that. But now the next time we kill that guy, we can use the pieces and keep, and this is how you get everything up to nine. So then eventually, you see now my arm is already <laughs> six. And then, like I said, this is how easy it is to get back to the boss. So you go through those doors, you go back down, You go up here, right down here, and now we go right through our tunnel. You can get this guy if you run and chase him and hit his ass. This shit. I'm grinding my tunnel, bitch. Now you go through straight through here, and here we are to this thing. Now there's some stuff back in there, like I think maybe some tech and stuff. But anyway, you just jump across here and go left. Jump across here, go left, and there's the door. And now we go back to farming. And I'm not going to show you me farming it. I just showed you how it was done and how it is possible. And then that is all you do. Oh, he got his implant. I think we got his head too. Or his head thing. Yep. So there you go. And then here um, should be his weapon. If I pick this one up. Living jawbone. Look at that thing. But now every time he cut his arm, it'll be weapon nine materials and we got the schematics for the arms of the that drone worked really good on him it was just rapid fire again this guy now we want to we got his arm this is his head now we want to upgrade this guy now we want to upgrade this guy another implant auto healing dynamo like that like that what is this guy got I got Crystallis arm gear. I don't know how, I wasn't even aiming at the arm. Oh, there's the weapon, the infected slash brand. That one is actually, I'm telling you, this is like such a good spot. I only got 4,000 tech, but that's, I don't care. Now I'm, I'm just gonna bring all that back. And then I would simply just upgrade my stuff. Once you get everything to nine, it will look like this that's everything upgraded to level nine even some of the weapons i got the dark star of course also did uh brother truman's faith and i got this is at level eight almost nine i will do that that is the authority one and also my negotiator i will go to nine it's one more level away 
Uh, you can do any weapons you want, and you can keep doing this as long as you want. And you can see I'm still just a mere level 40. Not even 50, 60 or anything, but still... At level 9, with these weapons, you can go out and destroy little Johnny and whatever else you want. That is it.